Justice 4 has launched an initiative aimed to helping end violence in St. Louis. We're explaining how you can join that movement and how it impacts us all. Terror, crime, either. Watch the surroundings, keep an eye on things, and if you suspect it, don't be scared to call. You will be protected. That is a mother's message for anyone who has ever witnessed a crime, especially the people who saw her son killed. News 4 this morning's Andre Hepkins has this story about a woman who lost both of her sons. You never expect to outlive your children. January 7, 2005, Laura X's firstborn son Josh drowned in floodwaters as he tried to swim to safety. He was in water for hours, freezing to death, trying his best, fighting for life. More than three years after the 22-year-old lost his life, tragedy would strike a second time. She's like, poof, he's gone. Her 20-year-old baby, Jeremy, was shot to death. It's just like I am broken. My heart is broken more than once. Now, two tattoos remind her of the twice-tormented heart, which holds her in a state of unhappiness. If she's not grieving, she's feeling guilty. And that guilt takes over, so you never really can achieve happiness again. Last thing he said to me, I'll see you in our mom. That was July 28th, 2008. The next thing she heard was a knock on her front door from a Montgomery County Sheriff's deputy, courtesy of the East St. Louis Police Department. According to this police report, Jeremy Eck was a passenger in a car driven by a man who told police he had stopped at a red light here at 18th Street and Missouri Avenue when a stranger came up to the car, said something, and then shot into the car. His partner uh, that was with him drove him to the hospital where uh, he later died from a gunshot wound to his neck. And he stated that uh, the gunman asked, uh, prior to showing the gun, he asked, what did you guys want to buy? What did you want to buy? Or something of that nature. It's a known drug area. But it's a known drug area. Michael Flory is the East St. Louis police chief now. He was the lead detective when this young man's death changed this woman's life. That loss is there, and I just can't handle celebrating Christmas or basically every holiday. And <laughs> She says she hasn't heard much from the police department I guess is because you don't have much to tell her yeah and and um, that's correct your word to hers that you will find her son's killer and that is correct we'll do all we'll do all we can to continue to uh, work hard to bring some closure for her. until he closes this case this mother will mourn the loss of her boy who died four months before he could celebrate his 21st birthday I just can't be around people that day I need that day to myself to mourn Andre Hepkins News 4 News 4 will stay committed to working with viewers like you on ways to end violence. This is not something we will let go of. We have made the raw video of Andre's interview with the mother in that story, Laura Eck, available on our website. You can see it at KMOV.com. Just click on the End Violence tab at the top of the page.